Hey, Ahmed. Hi, Martin. What's going on? I built a cloud run service and I noticed it's slower for users in Australia than for users in the US. Uh, could you help me fix that? Sounds like you might need to put your cloud run services closer to your users. I can show you how. Okay, my web application has a sign up form with a city field. As the user types into the city field, they will get autocomplete suggestions from a Cloud Run service. That sounds good, Martin. And I deployed this service to the US Central One region. When I access it from my house here in California, I get response times between 70 and 80 milliseconds. I'm pretty happy with that. But you're saying this service is slower for users in Australia? Yeah. This is what happens when I access the service from a virtual machine I set up in Sydney. Uh, there. You see here, the responses are much slower, uh, just over 200 milliseconds. Uh, why is that happening, Amit? Right now, your Cloud Run service is running in US Central 1, which is in the Iowa data center. People in Australia are so much further away from Iowa than you are, so naturally, their requests will take longer. For many applications, this is not a big deal. If the response times you just showed me are acceptable, you can keep serving all your users from one location. But for some interactive services, like your autocomplete service, every millisecond counts. So your users in Australia would see a better performance if you could take this autocomplete service closer to them. This means you need to deploy the same Cloud Run service to a Google data center in Australia. OK, that sounds great. Uh, but how do I configure my Cloud Run service so I can route them to the nearest Google data center? You don't have to. The Google Cloud HTTPS load balancer lets you use global Anycast IPs, meaning wherever the user connects from, they're routed to the nearest Google data center. And then the Cloud Load Balancer will route the request to the nearest Cloud Run service that you have deployed. OK, let's do it. Uh, but I'm an application developer, not a network admin. Uh, are there any instructions for this? Yes, I just sent you the link to a web page that describes the process. Basically, you have to set up an IP address, a TLS certificate, then tie it all together by creating a load balancer. OK, uh, let's see, pulling it up here. It looks like it's just a list of G Cloud commands. Uh, looks like I can enter the names of my services, uh, copy the commands, uh, and then I just run these in my terminal? Yeah, that's right. Also, you need to update the DNS records for your domain name from your registrar to send the traffic to the IP address that you just created. It's all in the instructions. Cool. I will run these gcloud commands and update the DNS record. Uh, it can take a while for DNS to propagate. Uh, see you back here in 30 minutes. Sounds good. All right, we're back. Uh, what now? Let's first make sure that you haven't broken anything for users in the US. Do you want to make a request? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, trying it out now from here in California. Ah, there. OK, good. It's still working, and it's still fast. Excellent. Now, let's check if the response time has improved for your users in Australia. OK, pulling up the web page now, entering the first letter of a city name. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a lot faster. Uh, before, it was over 200 milliseconds. Uh, now, most of these requests took less than 20. Uh, and it shows here that it's serving from a data center in Australia. Uh, but Ahmed, why is Sydney faster than I, what I get from my house here in California? Good question. This is because the nearest deployment that you have right now is in US Central 1, which is in Iowa data center. You could deploy this to US West 2, which is in the Los Angeles data center, to get even better response times from your home. In fact, there are no downsides to deploying all available regions because you pay a fixed price for the load balancer. And since Cloud Run charges you based on the requests, there is no downside to deploying your application everywhere. All right. So my current deployment is working well for users in the US and in Australia right now. Uh, but what happens if a user is in another place, let's say Singapore? Uh, I haven't deployed my Cloud Run service there. Google's load balancer is smart enough to route them to the closest Cloud Run service that you have deployed behind the load balancer. Why don't you try it? OK, I set up a virtual machine here in Singapore. Uh, let's see, opening the web page. Uh, oh, it looks like they get just over 100 milliseconds response time. Uh, and here we can see the data was served from the Cloud Run service in Sydney. Nice. 
And if you don't want to run a lot of gcloud commands to deploy this application manually, you can write a Terraform module and easily deploy your application to all regions. We'll put a link in the description for that. Oh, cool. Uh, but Ahmed, what about my users in Antarctica? A uh, serious question. Do you mean the researchers and the penguins? Maybe we'll get to it someday. Ah, uh, yes, the penguins. <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please uh, leave the comments below and let us know if there are any other topics you'd like us to discuss.